Dodge Division presents A Selling Ace Meets the Polara and Monaco for 72. Dodge salesman Andrew Martishang flew to Detroit to help us preview Polara and Monaco for 72. Andy is a real ace among salesmen. This seasoned professional with Skyline Dodge Incorporated in Denver had 153 total sales to his credit in the 1970 calendar year. 32 of those sales were Polaras and Monaco's. He's been a Delta Grand Award winner five times. Here was a salesman we knew could help us point out appealing and selling features of the new cars. And we also wanted to have him tell us about his effective selling, ideas he could pass on to other salesmen. So we found a fairly quiet spot at the air terminal and taped our interview with Andy. Here are just a few of his comments we thought might interest you. How did Andy, a 20-year Dodge salesman, get to his present rate of sales? Listen. As time went on, I just kept building and building. I can get on the telephone uh, for an hour and I'll get one of my old customers to give me one or two leads or several leads or get him to come in. And I have enough of a file system now that it really means something. The repeat business and the referrals, their kids and their friends, it's just endless. There's no limit. The harder I work, the more I can make. I demonstrate as much as I can. When I'm on a sale that is difficult, the demonstration can clinch the sale. I have pretty much of a daily work schedule. I happen to live about 25 miles from the dealership and I plan my day's work as I go to work. When I get to work, I sit down and plan what I am going to do today. And I have to have something set before me because if I don't, I can goof off all day long. I have to have an organized program for the day. From those few comments, we get the impression of a well-organized, hard-working professional who gets results. More from Andy later, but let's go on with our new car features. First, the model lineups. The Monaco has a two-door hardtop, a four-door hardtop, a four-door sedan, and a two- and three-seat station wagon. And the Monaco Brome continues as a package in 72. The Polara and Polara Custom both offer a two-door hardtop, a four-door hardtop, and a four-door sedan. The Polara has a two-seat wagon only, while the Custom has both a two- and a three-seat wagon. But the Polara Brome is no longer offered. The particular model we made available for Andy to preview at the airport was the newly styled, beautiful Polara Custom. Andy's immediate reaction was, I think we've got ourselves a winner. And why not? Just look at what's all new for 72. New bumpers, new grills, new lamps, new exterior ornamentation, distinctively different roofs on all models, new on the two-door and four-door hardtops, all new sheet metal, a handsome-looking car that will have strong customer appeal, crisply styled, a car that will be second to none in its class. And this is Monaco for 72. It, too, has its own all-new and distinctive front sheet metal, new bumpers, an attractive new grille. A car that is aimed at Olds Delta 88 and Buick LeSabre, as well as Ford LTD and Chevrolet Caprice. And that is a new, unique, and distinctive concealed headlight grille featured on Monaco for 72. It sets Monaco in a class by itself, totally different from Polara and Polara Custom. Monaco's standard engine is a 360 cubic inch V8. And get this, power steering, power front disc brakes, and automatic transmission are continued as standard on Monaco in 72. Exterior ornamentation is all new, and the Monaco has rich new interior trims and luxurious seat options, plus a wide variety of comfort and convenience options. Many options are similar to those available on the Polara. So, as we see features, as pointed up by Andy, we'll refer to those similarities to Monaco where they occur. The vinyl roof is available on all Polara and Monaco models as an option. It's standard with a Monaco Brome package. 
It's in white, black, green, gold, or tan, and keyed to exterior colors. The gold and tan are available on two- and four-door hardtops only. Amber front side marker lights have been restyled and repositioned, and the body side molding on Polara Custom and Monaco has a vinyl insert for added protection. Polara models have a bright, full-length body side molding that is black paint filled. These are the new high-style deluxe wheel covers, standard on Monaco, optional on Polara. And notice the finished look of the chrome trim on the wheel opening, standard on Monaco and Polara Custom. Polara's new grille is attractively bright and the dual headlights are deeply seated. Standard engine for both the Polara and Polara Custom is the 318 cubic inch V8. Optional is the 360 cubic inch V8. Also optional at extra cost on all models is the new 400 cubic inch two barrel V8. And the 440 cubic inch four barrel V8 is carried over from last year as an option. However, it has the brand new electronic ignition. All engines operate efficiently on regular fuel. The rear bumper has been restyled with tail lights, backup lights, and turn signals recessed in rectangular pods. Rear side marker lights are redesigned. The fuel tank filler is hidden behind the license plate. Usable luggage space is a generous 21.2 cubic feet in the neatly trimmed compartment. What standard features of the 72 models impressed Andy the most? Well, when we told him power steering and automatic transmissions would be standard on all models, plus power front disc brakes on Monaco, he said, This is going to help a great deal. Uh, I have to say that power steering and automatic transmission in the Highline car, it should be standard equipment. Who's going to buy a standard transmission uh, in a Polara or a Monaco? Nobody. To repeat, torque flight, column mounted, three speed automatic transmission and power steering are standard on all models with power disc brakes also standard in Monaco. The 72s are spacious with plenty of room for easy entry. Rear leg room, for example, in this model is over 39 inches. Front leg room, nearly 42 inches. Shoulder room in the rear is more than 62 inches. Front shoulder room, more than 63. This is the optional all vinyl split back bench seat available in the custom model. A cloth and vinyl bench seat is standard. This steering wheel is standard on all Polara Custom and Monaco models. It has three horn tabs and simulated wood grain trim. The instrument panel is restyled. Gauges are centered for maximum visibility. Switches are conveniently located. A new knob type switch controls the headlights and a new toggle type switch controls the wipers and washers. Move it to the right for the wipers, push it down for the washers. And the custom model has the simulated wood grain trim. Both Polara and Monaco have the steering wheel and transmission lock feature. This model shows the optional floor-mounted cassette tape player. Air conditioning is, of course, a prime option available on all models. Over 86% of all 71 Monacos and Polaras were ordered with air. And for 1972, the one half off on air conditioning special, which was so successful in 1971, is available on all Monaco and Polara custom models from the very beginning of the model year. A litter container is standard on all models in 72. This plastic bag can be kept in the glove compartment or hung from the compartment door. As Andy pointed out to us, there are many other attractive features, many more easily demonstrated than described. Speed control, the rear window defogger, the brilliant sound of the AM FM stereo radio, power windows and seats, and electric door locks, to mention just a few. And for 1972, there is the new Easy Order Group for all Polara and Monaco models. This group makes it easy, simple, and virtually foolproof to order cars with the optional equipment most new car buyers want. The 72s are going to provide a fresh new look in their car class. A Monaco and Polara. New bold styling outside and in. Designed for comfort, convenience, safety. Superb looking automobiles in 72 and more. Cars with famous Chrysler engineering built in. As Andy said before he left for his return trip to Denver. I think we have the finest 
car in the business. I, I really and truly uh, believe this. And after all, this is what counts.